Hello, my name is Jeff Scott, and I am your student's Spanish teacher. This year, they are taking Spanish 8, which is an accelerated one-year course of Spanish in eighth grade to meet the New York State graduation requirement for world languages. Um, the best way to contact me is at my email address. It's jeff.scott at clydesavannah.org. That's J-E-F-F dot Scott is how you'd spell my name. Or you can call the school at 315-902-3000 and let the main office, the middle school main office know that you've called and they'll let me know. And then I will call you back from 234 to 315 in the afternoon. Um, or you could just send me an email uh, saying, hey, Mr. Scott, I would um, like a phone call to talk with you about this or something, and I will do my best to respond to you in a timely fashion. Um, about the course. So like I said, Spanish 8 is an accelerated course. Um, so there's a lot of material that we're covering in one year this year. Um, and we're focusing on the uh, four skills of speaking, listening, reading, and writing in the world language of Spanish. Also a really important aspect of this class is the appreciation of culture and way of life in Spanish speaking countries around the world. In terms of grading, uh, the grade book is set up in two ways. We have tests and quizzes as 50% of the grade, and we have compositions, speaking, reading, and writing, skill-based classroom assignments as the other 50%. So for the most part, um, the classroom assignments are going to be the majority of assignments. However, we do also have weekly quizzes, which are vocabulary quizzes. And those are very important. And so I give the students one week to learn anywhere from, you know, about eight words to 20 words maximum, and we review them all week long. And then on Friday, we have a vocabulary quiz. So this should be something that they are preparing for Monday through Thursday, and then coming in on class on Friday um, to successfully pass the quiz. These quizzes are something that the students cannot make up. And um, so it's important that they do study beforehand. In terms of classwork, the students can make up the majority of all of their classwork assignments if, for example, they get a um, lower grade than they would have liked. Uh, they're often more than welcome to make up that assignment, and I strongly encourage it. Um, we will also have tests. Um, those will be more rare, but more than likely at the end of each unit we're doing, along with a midterm exam and a final exam. And I cannot predict the future. However, in eighth grade, we take the Spanish Proficiency New York State exam, which is a, a state test um, at the end of this year. However, the last two years, we, due to the coronavirus, we have not had to take it. I imagine this year we are going to, but again, um, there has been no news on this and I will let the students and I'm sure the school will let you know as soon as we find out, I'm guessing towards the third quarter or fourth quarter of this year. However, at this moment, I'm planning on and preparing for this New York State test at the end of this year. Um, and the student will need to pass that test in order to pass this class, along with passing the normal class in terms of the tests and quizzes each quarter. Um, Homework. So I do give homework and it's mostly to study for these weekly vocabulary quizzes or if a student doesn't finish an assignment that we started in class to finish it in their study hall or at home. Um, so other than that, there is not a lot of homework um, for class. In terms of what the student might need for class, um, they have been provided a Chromebook from the school and a binder three ring binder, which I ask that they bring every day to class, um, fully charged, their computer that is hopefully. And it's optional, but if the student wanted, they could also, or you could also purchase a Spanish English dictionary for them. Um, hardcover, softcover, it doesn't matter. 
but I also have plenty of um, dictionaries books in my classroom that we'll use throughout the year. So they don't need to get one unless they would really like one to have um, at home. Uh, one of the big things that I always tell my students is that uh, I can't pass the class for them. So it's really important so that they strive for success. And if they do miss class or if they're absent or quarantined or something along those lines, that they do their best to complete their missing assignments in a timely manner so they don't get too far behind. On that note, if they are absent, it's important that they do check the Google Classroom. And each day I am making an announcement there of what we're doing in class along with links to any documents or work that we're doing. So if they are not in the classroom, they can just check there and they can do their work at home and hopefully complete everything. And again, just if they if they don't do a very successful job on one of these assignments where they missed, you know, the instruction in class, they're more than welcome to get help from me and redo the assignment for a higher score. Speaking of grades, I have required each student to sign up for School Tool, which is the program that our school uses to keep track of grades. I think it's really important that they're able to monitor their own progress. And I would also strongly suggest that parents have access to this as well. Um, so what you can do is you can call the junior high office and um, ask for access to school tool and you give them their email and they provide you with a password. And then you can go right to our clydesavannah.org website and check on your students' grades and assignments and see how they are doing. You can also do that via Google Classroom. However, all the assignments are not on Google Classroom because sometimes we'll do a paper assignment um, or something else in the classroom and I'll put it in the gradebook. So the most official way to do this is via school tool in terms of keeping class of their grades. The last thing I wanna say is um, cell phones. Uh, cell phones are not allowed in the classroom. Um, so I do ask all the students to keep them in their pocket or in their binder or put them someplace other than their own desk in the classroom. There are some charging stations in class. Um, so just to minimize the distractions. Again, my name is Jeff Scott and please feel free to contact me if you ever have any questions or concerns at my email address or you can call the school and I can call you back after that. Okay, thanks very much. Looking forward to a very ex exciting year this year. Take care.